What are the odds of us getting a new map super early for Black Ops 4 Zombies in the DLC season? Uh, obviously, from all indication, thanks to the fact that the community finished the Easter egg in Blood of the Dead and both the Chaos maps, it seems like we're going to get maps for each storyline. I don't know how this is going to work, though. Obviously, the Aether story isn't done yet. And at the end of the Blood of the Dead map, uh, they all cross through portals and disappear with post-revelations Richtofen. I mean, they're obviously going somewhere that's going to lead to more events unfolding. And the Chaos crew has their own storyline unfolding as well. So it, it's tough to say how they're going to uh, release the DLCs for these upcoming maps. Um, I thought that maybe they were going to release two maps for each story in the DLC season. Because obviously there's always four maps. Uh, so Chaos would get two maps. And then the Aether crew would get two maps too. But then that would just be really dumb and wouldn't be a lot of fun because they would just end the stories pretty quickly. I mean, it's just two maps for each story. I thought that maybe, just maybe they could release two maps a DLC. Again, I thought that it'd be cool to do this, but then I had another thought. An outlandish one. Stick with me on this one. What if they decided to release the Aether story a bit earlier? as in a couple months from now and then release the chaos story dlc when the dlcs usually come around you know around late january or early february or something like that um that would be insane it would make up for a lot of boredom and uh, dry spells in black ops 4 zombie season uh, a lot more content would mean a lot more people consistently playing so obviously that's not a bad thing um this is a lot easier said than done. Uh, the folks over at Treyarch would have a handful of stuff to be doing, um, to say the least. And undertaking two maps for each crew four times, that would just be pretty insane. Obviously, the Aether storyline isn't over yet, so they're going to continue it. Just when is the question? Are they going to completely ignore it for the rest of the DLC season and give us another map in, you know, Black Ops 5? I mean... Probably not. I don't think that would be a smart thing to do. So I definitely think they're going to be continuing it in the DLC season, but I just don't know how. I'm assuming that the easiest route that they could take, again, is just two maps for each storyline to fill the uh, four maps DLCs. But that just doesn't make sense. And, you know, we'd really have a long amount of time in between each DLC waiting for another installment for each story. I'm... I don't know. I'm I'm confident that they're going to have two maps each DLC. Uh, but what if they decided to release them apart? I mean, imagine if we got the Aether map in a month or two. I mean, that would be insane. Again, it would just have a lot less waiting time in between the maps. And we just end up getting more content and just playing the game more. Um, I think since Treyarch didn't make a campaign this time around, that maybe they'd have a lot more time on their hands and they already had meticulously planned out their plans for these maps and possibly already made some of these DLC maps before release even. I mean, they completely ditched one third of the whole game and they added a battle royale and the battle royale wasn't solely made by Treyarch. They had another studio that was helping them uh, build this mode. So they had help from a whole nother studio. They definitely could have put a lot more time into zombies um, this year, so I don't know. It's just really it really makes you think uh, hopefully they do two maps uh, DLC and uh, hopefully They're gonna release maybe the Aether story or the chaos story a bit earlier in the year um, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Let me know down in the comment section below I mean, obviously this is a good idea, but let me know if you think that this makes sense Do you think that maybe since we already have two maps for each storyline? That maybe they're just going to give us two more, just like they would as if there was one story, you know? Because obviously, we usually get one map, and then we get the four other maps in the game. And then obviously, we have uh, five full maps. And maybe this time around, they're saying, well, we already did two maps uh, for each story this time around. We might as well just do four more maps and just make two of those um, for each storyline. Again, let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this. But other than that, that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a rating. Please subscribe. And have a wonderful day. See you in the next one.